overtime. This one should be thrilling. Let's it go. Solid club save. Good job with the stick. That pass is cut. The Coyotes are driving it from the wing. Wow, what force in that one. He was looking to finish his check, and he lines up his man right up against the boards. Muscled right off. The Rangers with control at center ice. He can start some danger here. Save, but just barely. Now it's directed to Ponick. On to step up. Look out, here it comes. Ekman Larson's not going to be too happy with that. He didn't have his head up, wasn't aware of everybody around. Score! champions an emotional moment i'm sure for everybody here one that i only wished i could have been part of the teams are exhausted as they line up for one of the oldest traditions in our sport, the handshake at the end of the series. You don't always like the player that you're shaking hands with, but you have respect for the series that you've just played. The playoff MVP gets the Conn Smythe Trophy, and here is the winner. This is a tremendous award that probably means more in the coming days than it does now. You don't dream of winning the Conn Smythe. You dream of the Stanley Cup. It's often said it's the hardest prize to win because it takes eight weeks. And by tradition, the captain is the first to hold it high. I can guarantee you that picture right there with the cup up over his head will be displayed prominently in his home. One moment he can be proud of and will cherish forever. There's always interest in how the Stanley Cup has passed player to player, and they take their victory lap with it. Players are injured and banged up, yet it doesn't seem to matter how much that 30-pound trophy really weighs. Doug Waite actually got it over his head once with a dislocated shoulder. In what would be his last Stanley Cup victory, Wayne Gretzky gathered everyone at center ice for a team picture, and that has now become a custom.